Um, I mean, not only are riots continuing in the UK, I, I, I think, uh, I, I don't think the media is reporting much about it, but, but riots are continuing in the UK. Uh, the, uh, the UK government is responding to this with basically uh, threats and actions that are set basically to restrict free speech. Instead of getting tough with the rioters, instead of getting uh, tough with criminals and with people who are violating the law, violating, I'd say, objective law, I mean, uh, uh, valid law, the British government is focused almost completely on this, uh, on uh, incitement and on this idea that there's incitement going on and on the idea that uh, somehow um, it is speech that is the problem um, and uh, that it is speech that must be curtailed. Uh, there's, there's discussion even potentially to, uh, I mean, <laughs> there is a story out there um, that a former Twitter executive is calling for personal sanctions and potentially an arrest warrant against Elon Musk for so-called inciting violence. Now, there's no question that there be people in England and, and outside of Britain that have been God, that have been uh, clearly, one second, let me see what's going on here. Uh, sorry, the camera went out. We will uh, see if we can get it back. Um, there's no question there have been people that uh, are involved in incitement and uh, there are people that, uh, not incitement, sorry, there are people who are being involved in misinformation. But the reality is we live in a world, we should be living in a world in the West of free speech. Uh, misinformation is not a crime. Incitement is. If you go, go riot, and, and, and if you have credibility, then sure, you could be tried for incitement. But here the issue is not incitement. Here the issue is, for the most part, speech. It's, for the most part, false speech, sometimes even lying and deception, uh, sometimes just misinformation or confusion or just being wrong, or sometimes it's just political views that we don't like. The UK is going down a very, very, very dangerous path in criminalizing certain types of speech and criminalizing speech that our politicians and, uh, and uh, you know, don't approve of. Uh, I just saw the actor of uh, Mr. Bean and um, uh, uh, what was the actor? What's the name of the actor? Uh, what's the actor? What's this? What's the actor um, in Mr. Bean? Um, Rowan, uh, Rowan Atkinson. I just saw Rowan Atkinson uh, do a video uh, in support of free speech. Very good video. He's, he's actually quite excellent on this issue. Um, what he's saying, you, you, you know, in, in, in the UK, they, they've written laws that have basically criminalized speech and basically made it possible to arrest people for the things that they say. And uh, there are real horrors involved in this. Uh, and uh, yeah. I think there's a new one out now. I mean, there was a video out in uh, 2012, but I think there's a new video out now. Anyway, I thought that's true. Um, you know, the, 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 the current government is, it has a real danger of um, using the laws, uh, which are pretty bad laws to begin with, uh, in restricting speech and using these uh, riots um, uh, to use the, uh, as an excuse for that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, people calling for uh, Musk to be arrested or, or there to be a, a, a warrant on Musk's arrest. 
because Musk wrote in one of his posts, civil war is inevitable in the United Kingdom. I mean, is, is the fact that he wrote civil war is inevitable, if he has that opinion, is that inciting for violence? Obviously, it's not. Um, Musk has called uh, Starmer, the Prime Minister of England, uh, two-tier Kia and a hypocrite over his approach to policing. Uh, he, he's tough, supposedly, on these far-right gangs that are rioting, but he's very weak on, on Muslim rioting. Um, Musk has also, uh, also shared a false post suggesting Starmer was planning to set up detainment camps in the Falkland Island, which a post he deleted because it was, uh, it was obviously false. But none of that, none of that constitutes incitement. None of that constitutes force. None of that constitutes a reason, you know, to restrict Trump, to arrest Trump, uh, to restrict Musk, or to arrest Musk, or to do anything negative towards Musk. So, um, very dangerous times in the UK. This government is obviously already in trouble. Um, there is a, uh, a British law called Online Safety Act of 2023. Isn't that funny? Uh, 2023, the Conservative government was in power. So uh, they can't accuse the left of, uh, of this one. But uh, this law in 2023 is a law uh, that very much makes it possible uh, to restrict people's free speech online uh, if the government deems it uh, insightful in any kind of far-reached way. Now the calls um, that, uh, so, you know, as, as this author writes, in the short term, Musk and fellow executives should be reminded of their criminal liability, criminal liability, for their actions under existing laws uh, Britain's Online Safety Act of 2023 should be beefed up with immediate effect. Uh, it, it, I mean, this is truly unbelievable. Truly unbelievable that Britain is on the verge or, I, I, well, you know, it's hard to tell if it's on the verge, but British, it is, has laws, uh, hate speech laws, that, uh, that are so restrictive and so uh, dangerous to free speech, speech that you might not like but speech that people have a right to engage in.